I'm Amy Lin, and I am awake. Awake, my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. In this episode, we have a guest, and a new segment I would like to call Future Famous People of America. Take a look. This is Trisha Lee. She is a Bible major, and she is also an actress. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I was Emily Arden in State Fair, uh, Jane Bennett in Pride and Prejudice, Aunt March, which was my favorite, <laughs> in Little Women the Musical. Um, I got to be Margaret in Much Ado About Nothing, which was a lot of fun, even though it was a small part. Um, and this fall, I'm going to be doing... What's her name? I don't even remember. It's the girl who was married to C.S. Lewis. We're doing Shadowlands. I can't remember her name right now, but that's that's gonna be my. Those are my most recent shows. Have you found anything difficult being a Christian and wanting to go into acting? Yes, because even though I hate the stereotype that says anybody who likes show tunes and stuff like that is pretty much gay, um, but it's a stereotype for a reason. Uh, there is a very large amount, like, statistic of homosexuals in, um, in theater. And don't get me wrong, I love gay people. I do. A lot of my friends are gay. Hey, Sean. But, um, as a Christian, I don't believe that that lifestyle is right. So, because it's putting an unnatural desire before Christ. So, that is really hard because I, like I said, I love those people too. They're just people. They're my friends. But I have to figure out how to love them where they're at, not shove my beliefs down their throat, but hang out with them on a daily basis, which does affect, you know, anybody. What is your stance on swearing when you're performing? Swearing during performance. That's a hard one for me. Um, when I was in high school, I had a hard time not swearing. All my friends did and it seemed like a small thing to give on. To a degree, I think that some swearing in shows is acceptable. The author had his belief system. Their belief system is not my belief system. Um, I will not use God's name in vain on stage yeah, or for anyone. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Yeah, no, won't do that for anyone. Other words though, I, even though they're considered vulgarity, they're rude, and the Bible does speak against coarse language. It's essentially not me speaking. So I don't think it's such a big deal if I'm speaking the author's words for them and portraying the character that they're trying to portray. Because if I am portraying someone who curses, how can I do that without cussing? Do you have any advice to someone who is a Christian wanting to go into the acting field that you think that they should know? Um. If I had any advice to give, it would be to choose your battles wisely. Um, if When you're first starting out, you can't make your demands to a director. Pick your battles. Choose the ground, the, the hills that you choose to die on, but choose them wisely. Like, if I'd have to say something sacrilegious, I'd refuse. It's good to make sure your cast members and your friends, your family, the people who are watching you, if you ever get a chance to do like something like this, where you're talking to somebody and they're interviewing you, you tell them, I'm a Christian, I love Jesus. That's how it is. And I might portray a character that doesn't, but I do, emphatically. Thank you for talking with us today. It's now time for Noteworthy News. In a recent article by CNN, I read something very distressing about one of my favorite fast food restaurants, Chick-fil-A. In this article, the head of Chick-fil-A publicly states that he is conservative. And in response to this, the media is really, really upset. So upset that they're talking about putting together boycotts of Chick-fil-A. Just so you guys know, I am conservative. So what is it they object to with being conservative? The positive moral values or the fact that they want to uphold the traditional family? This really confuses me because the liberal group definitely believes in tolerance, 
but I suppose that tolerance only extends to people who believe the same that they do. For crying out loud, if you're going to pee your pants every time somebody says that they're conservative instead of liberal, you're going to need a diaper. If you have anything to say about what we talked about today, feel free to put it in the comments.